Hi guys, this is Rahel from Cybertech.com and this is another video tutorial on AngularJS. Um, in this video, we'll be uh, learning to implement notifications in AngularJS applications. Uh, the good thing about this video tutorial is that the implementation will be very easy and very user friendly. So basically our uh, notification would be similar to ground notifications like you can see over here in the picture. So let me just quickly show you what we'll be finally achieving in this demo. Mm, so as you can see here there are five buttons show error notification, success, blah blah blah. So if I click on error notification, uh, a red colored error notification pops up stating this is an error message with an error title. Similarly for success, warning, I close, close on the right, for notifications all notifications are stored together so uh, we'll be implementing notifications uh, using a library uh, called as angular crawl 2 um, it can be found on github uh, under the username jan stevens it's an awesome library uh, with lots of configurable features and it's very easy to integrate into your application so let's get started with the code first so as you can see what I have over here is yeah, I have an index.html then I have a JS folder CSS folder. So let's quickly open up the index.html. So here you can see there's nothing much. Uh, on the top I have included bootstrap files. Uh, remember bootstrap is an external bootstrap is, is an external dependency for this. Uh, if you want uh, to use bootstrap classes or you can use your own styling if you want um, then you have to include angular crawl dot css the css file for the angular crawl library uh, at the bottom we have the scripts we have angular 1.3 uh, also included uh, angular crawl uh, i have also included angular animate i'll come to it later and then we have our app.js where our js js code would be so to get these files you can uh, do it in a couple of ways actually uh, you can go to github i'll include a link in the description so under github you can move into build folder there you can find all the files you can download it from there alternatively if people are uh, more comfortable using command line you can do np sorry uh, bower install angular raw v2 to install it um, uh, for, uh, if, if you if you do not have Bower installed, you can install Bower by using npm install Bower dash g. Uh, for that, you will need Node, of course. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much with the basic setup. So now let's get started with our implementation. So if you see, I've already downloaded the files, included the files. Like I told you, I have JS and CSS, um, and you can ignore Angular Animate. Uh, it is not necessary for the implementation. Um, the necessary files are Bootstrap, CSS, Ang Grawl CSS, and the Angular Grawl and Angular JS library. So, for the explanation, okay, let me quickly remove this first. I've defined an app as Notify app, an ng controller, Notify controller. Then I have five buttons. So let me just run the code and show you what is happening. Basically, nothing will happen at the moment. Show you the UI. So we have these five buttons over here. And basically, when I click, nothing happens. So I'll define. A function for each of them on ng click show errors show success show warning show info now let's have a look at our app.js file yeah. so we have declared our module over here we have a controller and we have five functions which are called on click of all those buttons but as you can see nothing is happening as a click so to start using draw, you need to first inject the dependency. So let's just quickly do that. And we will 
ร้อย and then in okay so now what you're doing is you are uh, displaying your applications globally so it's better to declare your directive higher up the HTML tree so I'll be declaring it just under the body tag as an attribute crawl this is very important so we have done our two basic things now we need to inject the crawl service into a controller So we have injected it over here. Now we are ready to use the functions inside crawl. So there are there are four functions: uh, error, success, info, and warning. So this is show warning. So I use crawl crawl dot error, and inside which you can put your message show an error. You can also add in title if you want to. Title is error. So let's just see what's happening now. Um, remember, I have added it to show warning. Oh, so actually, I should add it to error. this here we go we have our first notification show an error message so let me just quickly add to all of them No, uh, notice that in the show all function I'm adding the same message and the same title so uh, there's a thing about this I'll let you know when I show you the demo over there let me add the success message Screen. will not add the title for this just for change. So info is dead change. Now, if you see of the I'm changing the message inside info here, as this is unique. Okay, let's go. Refresh the page. Oh, yeah, it's red gem. And the warning notification if something went wrong. It's cool to hear that. Now, just have a look. Okay, I'll first close all this and I click on show all notifications. Cool. So now, if you notice, what I'll be doing is I'm clicking on show error notification now. Whoa, nothing is happening. Show success, nothing. Show warning, nothing. But when I click on show info icon, the message appears. So the reason being because under the global config, uh, by default, uh, the messages are unique, so if we have if you have the same message displaying again, it won't add it to the list. So, for example, if I'm clicking on the success notification, this same message is getting added, so this won't be shown. Okay, so you can change that to so, uh, false under global config. I'll show you about that as well. So this was it. Now, if if you can see, there is nothing, no kind of animation over here. So Angular Grawl has a default animation 
of feeding, but for that we need to include the ng animate dependency in the library. Dependency. The library is already added over here. So let's refresh. If you, you can see there is a kind of feed effect. Cool. So this was the basic imp implementation. Uh, I know you are all guys um, who feel it's very very easy. Of course it, it is very easy. That's the good thing about this. Uh, moving on to the config. Uh, the default position for this is top right. You can change them. If uh, I'll add the link to the documentation of Angular Growl 2. You can see. Let me show you. Here, here we go. We have a unique message. If we set that to false, uh, uh, we can uh, add multiple similar messages. Let me quickly search positioning. Global message position. So you can define message positions globally top left, top right, top bottom. To do so, you have to uh, inject the crawl provider under the con in config, app config. And using that, you can set the position. Let me just copy paste this code. Quickly show you. I'll make it uh, top center. Notify app dot config dot code. Refresh it. There you go. Now the messages are appearing in center. Neat, right? Uh, there are a bunch of configurations over here. Lots of them. You can display inline messages. Uh, you can give callback functions uh, on close, on open. Uh, you can add countdown. You can limit messages. You can change the time to live. That's cool. Um, Go ahead and try it in your future Angular applications or your current one. Um, if you like the video, please hit subscribe and reshare. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.